。二零二二年第廿一、第廿二條咧，都係問翻人類嘅循環系統嘅。今次咧就多埋小腸，咁我就多埋一啲消化系統嘅概念啦。咁題目咧就兩大器官，一個係小腸，一個係肝。而當中咧有三條血管咧係牽涉喺其中嘅，分別就係 X、Y 同埋 Z 啦。嗱咁都係嗰句啦，有翻個好習慣啦。X、Y、Z 各自係咩嘅血管咧，同埋血流方向咧，俾曬大家先。X 咧就係肝動脈，就由心臟運血去到肝臟嘅。Z 咧就係肝靜脈，就由個肝咧將啲血運翻去心臟嘅。而 Y 咧就係肝門靜脈。就係、是、將啲血咧由小腸運去肝臟嘅，而小腸嘅功能咧就牽涉咗消化同埋吸收食物啦。咁同一時間啊，呢條題目咧都考下我哋有關於肝臟嘅功能嘅，尤其是啦，係當個人係禁食嘅時候啦。咁睇翻題目啦，咁啊題目就提及有一個人咧就禁食 fasting 嘅，唔食嘢啦。咁當中下面嘅 A、B、C、D 咧。邊一個係一個正確嘅選項去比較翻呢三條血管嘅血嘅葡萄糖水平咧？咁呢條題目啦，就考我哋除咗小腸嘅功能啦，當然考下我哋肝臟嘅功能啦。肝臟功能有好多嘅，調整血糖水平啦，儲存個 glycogen 即係糖原啦，鐵啦，同埋啲油溶性嘅維他命啊，製造膽汁啊、維他命 A 啊，去做脱氨啊、解毒啊之如此類。今次咧，你見我都係間低頭兩個嘅功能啫，因為呢個人禁食緊嘅時候咧，我哋主要咧就係動用頭兩個功能啦。你有儲存個糖原嘅，就將啲糖原拆解翻，變成葡萄糖，從而啦就去調控翻血糖水平啦。所以整條題目咧，我哋就考翻體內平衡咯。當一個人禁食嘅時候，冇食嘢啦，佢嘅血糖水平咧，一定係比正常水平為之低嘅。咁喺呢個時候啦，我哋就要進行體內平衡，就將血糖嘅水平提升翻，去翻正常嘅水平啦，係咪？咁我哋啦睇翻 X、Y、Z 又點樣去理解咧？咁整條題目嘅邏輯思維，我哋應該點樣去做咧？咁首先咧，我哋就比較下啦 ，X 呢條血管同埋運送血液去小腸嘅呢條血管先。其實啦，佢哋入面運送住嘅血糖嘅水平咧，其實應該係差唔多嘅。因為啦，啲血咧都係由心臟運過去不同器官嘅啫。只不過啦，當啲血液流過咗小腸嘅時候，由血管歪咗上去肝臟嘅時候咧，當啲血經過小腸嘅時候，喺小腸嘅有一部分嘅細胞其實都會用咗啲葡萄糖去做呼吸作用嘅。而同一時間啦，由於呢個人係禁食啊嘛，所以啦喺個小腸咧係冇葡萄糖嘅吸收嘅。所以啦，喺肝門靜脈，即係 blood vessel Y 啦，佢嗰個血糖嘅含量咧，應該係比起 blood vessel X 咧為之低嘅。咁所以啦 ，X 同埋 Y 比咧 ，X 咧嘅血糖含量一定比 Y 高。咁所以啦，呢、這個比 Y 高啦。咁所以啦 ，X Y 啦 ，X Y 啦，嗱咁樣睇咧都係正確嘅。咁即係 B C 咧就可以 say goodbye 噶啦。然後啦，我哋就比較下。blood vessel Z 啦，同埋 blood vessel X 咯，究竟邊個有高一啲嘅血糖含量咯？由於啦，而家嘅血糖含量為之低啊嘛，嗱，而家咧大家有少少動態思維啦。而家呢個情況，當一個人禁食，佢血糖水平為之低，咁我哋嗰個肝臟咧就會受到高糖素嘅影響，去拆解個糖原變成葡萄糖，而葡萄糖咧就會經過肝靜脈去流翻出嚟。去流去心臟啦，跟住由心臟再泵去唔同嘅地方嘅。咁所以啦，你會去諗啦，咦？當個 blood vessel s e t 將啲血運去心臟，咁心臟都會泵血，泵翻去經過 blood vessel X 肝動脈，就去翻個肝臟嘅，係咪？佢哋呢兩條血管所運送嘅血糖水平係咪應該差唔多咧？又唔係喎，因為啦，喺 blood vessel s e t 所運送嘅血液嘅血糖含量咧，應該係比起其他兩條血管係為之高嘅。咁啊，因為啦，當啲血由呢個血管 s e 啦，運去心臟，再由心臟泵去個肺部做氣體交換，再翻翻心臟，再泵去身體各部分，例如啊，翻翻去 X 嘅呢個血管去翻肝臟咧，其實喺個肺做緊氣體交換嘅時候啦，其實佢都會用緊一部分嘅血糖，所以啦，即使將啲血運送翻去 blood vessel X 之前咧，其實血糖含量都應該已經低咗噶啦，所以咧 set 嘅血糖含量咧。應該比 X 位置高嘅。
，所以最後答案咧就係 D 啦。Two two two question twenty one and twenty two are also about the human circulatory system and the associate organ. In this diagram, you can see liver and the small intestine. Therefore, it's also about the digestive system. So you can see that there are three blood vessels: blood vessel X, Y, and Z. So as a good practice, remember to write down the name for the labeling first. Blood vessel X is the hepatic artery, transporting the blood from the heart to the liver. Blood vessel Z is the hepatic vein, it transports the blood from the liver go back to the heart. And blood vessel Y is the hepatic portal vein, it carries the blood from the small intestine to liver. And for the small intestine, surely is responsible for the digestion and absorption of the food. So let's take a look at the question. Which of the following correctly compare the blood glucose concentration in the blood vessels X, Y, Z when a person is fasting, no intake of the food? So it checks the concept that. Let me some say. So it checks different concept. First of all, the critical idea for the whole meal status. When a person is fasting, the blood glucose level will be lower than the normal level. Secondly, we need to recall the function of the liver. So you can see there are a lot of functions of the liver. For example, regulating the blood glucose level, storing glycogen, iron, lipid soluble vitamins, producing bile, and vitamin A, deaminating the excessive amino acid, detoxifying a lot, a lot. And we just need to focus on the first two functions because the case is that the person is fasting, so when his or her blood glucose level is lower, so the liver they need to break down the glycogen, convert it to the glucose, and then to regulate the blood glucose level, right? So let's take a look at the thinking logic. How can we get to the answer? Firstly, we need to recall that the blood glucose concentration entering the liver, which is the blood vessel X hepatic artery and the small intestine, are more or less the same. So we take a look at these two blood vessels, blood vessel X and the blood vessel connecting to the small intestine. So the blood glucose level, as what I mentioned, more or less the same. As the blood leaving the heart, which has not yet passed through any organs, and after. Passing through the small intestine, some of the glucose will be taken up by the cells of the small intestine for respiration. Meanwhile, there is no absorption of glucose during fasting. Therefore, the blood glucose concentration in the blood vessel hepatic portal vein, that means the blood vessel Y, will be lower than that in the blood vessel X. So we can take a look at the options and find out the possible answer. X higher than Y. X higher than Y, so A D they are potential answers, and for B and C we can say goodbye to it, and then for option A and D we need to compare the blood vessels X and Z, so for the hepatic artery and hepatic vein which of them will carry higher blood glucose level, so now we need to switch to the interactive dynamic thinking process, due to the lower the blood glucose level. The liver is stimulated by more glucagon to promote the conversion of the glycogen into glucose. So you see that the liver, one of the function is to store the glycogen, and then now we break down the glycogen into glucose, and then the glucose will be released to the blood and leave the liver through the blood vessel Z, which is the hepatic vein. And the blood glucose concentration in blood vessel Z is the highest among three blood vessels because the blood will pass to the lungs for gas exchange, and at the same time, some blood glucose will be consumed before reaching the blood vessel X again. You need to recall the circulation. The blood is carried from the liver to the heart, and then for the heart, it will pump the blood to the lungs for. Gases exchange, and then the blood will go back to the heart, and then the blood will be pumped out to the aorta, and then example, and carried it to the different organs, is that, and then carried it to different body parts. And when the blood pass through the lungs, the lungs get the glucose already. Therefore, for the blood vessel Z, it should has a higher blood glucose level than the blood vessel X. So the answer is D.